Manchester has been named the European City of Science for 2016. This is widespread recognition for the contribution the city has made to the scientific community and industry. The city alone has produced 25 Nobel laureates and is currently tackling some of the biggest questions facing the planet. The Century Universities are home to over 85,000 full-time students and help form one of the largest student communities in the country. The city will become a focal point for discussion about science when it hosts the Euroscience Open Forum in July. Over 4,500 leading thinkers from more than 90 countries will gather in Manchester to discuss current and future breakthroughs in contemporary science. Manchester has a rich scientific history. Ernest Rutherford was able to split the atom here in 1917 in what is now known as the Rutherford Lab. Alan Turing, the mathematician who helped crack the Enigma code during the war, was based in Manchester helping to create the first computer with programmable memory. He was widely considered the father of computer science and artificial intelligence. Graphene is an extremely thin, wonder material that was first isolated in Manchester in 2004. It has many outstanding properties such as high heat and electrical conductivity. It is 200 times stronger than steel and very flexible. The two scientists behind its discovery were Konstantin Novoselov and Andrew Geim. They both received Nobel Prizes for their work in 2010 when they performed a procedure using scotch tape to isolate graphene from graphite. It has since become a promising material for using computer chips, touchscreens and fuel cells for the future. The material has turned out to be so pervasive that within just a few years it spread from material science and physics into the areas as distant as biology and genetics. In 2015, the National Graphene Institute was set up as a result of European investment and the belief that Manchester is the right place to move this material forward. Within the institution, there is 1,500 square metres of clean room space researchers can work in without contamination. The institution employs over 100 members of staff and allows collaboration between the University of Manchester and its partners to develop graphene applications of the future. Much of the research currently being undertaken is going into understanding the properties of graphene. It also has much potential in biomedical research. We asked the researcher working in the institute for his views. Uh, to exploit the properties like electrical conductivity, mechanical properties and uh, surface cell uh, to be employed in biomedical research to direct the be uh, and manipulate the behaviour of stem cell research or <coughs> excitable cells like neurons. Graphene uh, can be used for uh, biosensing. Uh, in fact, <coughs> it's possible to link biomolecules on it, and then you can make optical sensor, electrical, electrochemical sensor. Can be used also in uh, cancer therapy as a drug delivery or uh, <coughs> delivery for photo, uh, in a photothermal therapy st uh, strategy. Can be used also to, as a substrate to uh, accelerate and implement the differentiation of stem cells. I think that in uh, graphene in the future will be uh, a, pot a very useful material in uh, bio <coughs> biomaterials or in any biotechnological uh, application as a biosensor mainly but also for uh, uh, drug delivery cardiac but also can be used uh, for uh, transistor or other <coughs> uh, physics, let's say physics world application so I think that will be a really useful material in the next 25 years Graphene is one of the many reasons the future of science and industry in the north of England is looking so bright.